Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good and blessed today on Sensational Saturday. I actually got my days right today. I mean, it's just been so crazy. <laughs> if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you. And thank you for your support. And please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button on this side so you'll be able to know when I upload my next video. If you are a returning sub, thank you for your support, love, and blessings to you also. And namaste to you. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Ah, solitude. I'm telling you. Woo! Right now, I am listening to relaxing reggae music on 4432 Hertz. Jamaican Resort song. Just relaxing. I'm finished cleaning up, waiting for my granddaughter and her mom to get here. And I'm just so excited. I haven't seen my grandbaby in a couple of days. So I go ahead and smother her with kisses and all that stuff. So I just I just miss her. But solitude, guys, solitude. I know dealing with a lot of different things. Sometimes a lot of us do not like being alone. I know when I started my journey. And people start dropping out of my life left and right. And I'm like, wait a minute, where are you going? Wait a minute, where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Don't leave me. Come back. Do not force somebody to be in your life, okay? Do not force people to be in your life. Because when you start your journey, and I've said this in a couple of times in different videos, when you start your journey on a path where you're supposed to be, where you find your purpose in life, there's a lot of people that are going to start off with your journey, and then they're going to be, they might not be there by the end of your journey. So through your solitude, Sometimes dealing with depression and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and do another video about that later on. Um, when you're in solitude and stuff like that, it is that is the perfect time to start learning more about yourself. Learning more about the things that you need to change to become the better person that you're supposed to be. To become your greatest version. And there's, right now, like I've said before, I'm not exactly where I want to be at. But it has made me so much stronger. There's days that I have my time to where I'm just, I'm just sad and stuff like that because I've been like that. Because I'm still dealing with the grief of my dad and not really able to grieve and let go. It's just because there's so many, still so many answers, and I'm getting stuff left and right, like I've said before. And but I'm so grateful for all the little things that I'm starting to know. It's just like when I listen to my dad's music and look at the video clips and see the pictures and stuff like that. It, it's just everything tells so many different stories. So it educates me on things that I don't really know about myself as well as my dad. So it, it, it's just like when I listen to some of his music when I'm by myself and I clear my mind and it just gives me clarity and it, it just it opens up my vibes like right now when I'm listening to this music it, it just that gives you a chance to think like where should your life be headed what do I want to do what is the next steps that I want to take am I supposed to go left am I supposed to go right am I supposed to go a little bit higher right now or just stay where I'm at and just you know, just go ahead and go from different angles. So it's just sometimes when we try to understand why we are by ourselves, why, you know, did this person leave me? You just supposed to, when you have people like that in your life and they just, you know, drop from the face of the earth and you try to understand why, you have to learn the lesson they taught you when they were in your life in the first place. And that is to... You know, just put it in your memory box to to see, okay, now I can go ahead and take this along my path. And, you know, if I have to go through an incident like that again, whether it's good or a bad experience, you already know how to deal with it. You know how to, you know, deal with the things that come along with it. And some people are just like, I'm so depressed, you know. Why am I always alone? You're never alone. You're never alone. So, oh, sorry, my bad. Sorry guys, my daughter just told me she's on her way with my grandbaby. 
but yes, it, it just so much. I love solitude. I'm telling you, that gives me so much time to know about myself and know where I need to go and look at the things that I need to change that you know that no longer serves me. And it, it's just like I'm so proud of all the things that I've done and all the things that I've accomplished and I you know I look at the videos I make and I'm just like seeing the comments and I'm just like you know what I'm becoming my greatest version even though I'm not where I'm at where I want to be right now I always visualize myself exactly where I'm supposed supposed to be that's how I know I'm getting closer because I'm looking at all the signs that are coming along with it you know the people and what I talk about and all this stuff. And shout out to my girl, Michelle, you know, Michelle G down in Georgia. Uh, me and her, you know, she is a trip. Me and her just talk like crazy. And I, I much love to you, girl. And, um, and I, like I have told her, it is just like a healing process that I've gone through. And it's just so much stuff that I've gone through that I didn't think I was going to make it. I really did not think I was going to make it. And I just look at the things that I've gone through in the last year since my dad has passed. And on top of all the other things that just brought back to me and just smacked me in the face. It's just like, wow. Wow. You know, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. And, you know, and I'm going to keep, keep on trucking and doing what I need to do to, until I get, reach my goal on the things that I want to do. Because there's just so many ideas and so many things that I want to do that I'm not able to do right now. But I always visualize myself doing it, you know. And it's just like I was watching this video the other day and I forgot which uh, YouTube channel I found that from. But they say when you... Are wanting something in life you take a picture of it and you put your picture next to that picture that you visualize yourself if you have this dream vacation you want to go on and say it's like the Bahamas or Jamaica and stuff like that and you have this beautiful ocean behind it and then next you know uh, sorry those crazy commercials you put your picture right there next to the you know the picture that you want like a postcard or something like that and visualize yourself there like you're already there like it's past tense like girl I had fun you know we had a sunburn and you know we, we ate some crab legs and you know found this you know this Jamaican restaurant down there called whatever and you visualize yourself doing that and it's just like your mind is programming yourself to already know that this is what you want this is you're gonna have that to the point where you visualize and you program yourself so much that boom next thing you know you have it so I said okay I'm gonna go ahead and try that so I'm gonna, I already went ahead and let y'all know how to do that and um, I'm gonna go ahead if I find the link um, after I finish uploading this video I'll go ahead and put it in the description box down below but I'm not trying to take up you guys' this time. You know, many blessings to people. And um, prayers go out to the Jenkins family of Kanika. I think that's her name. Um, God forgive me if I uh, messed up her name. Um, a girl that they found uh, passed away in the freezer. Many blessings to you. And I hope and pray that you find the justice that you have for your family. Um, and you guys, and I hope and pray that you guys be safe over the weekend. I pray for everybody. And much love to you. Spread love out to everybody as you possibly can. Say your affirmations. Stay in a positive vibe. Keep yourself lifted up. And solitude is not really a punishment to you. It's actually for you. It's a blessing to you more than a punishment. So don't ever think when you're by yourself, you're actually really, really by yourself. Because that's really that chance for you to get to know yourself all over again. And I will talk to you guys later. Much love and many blessings to you. Much love, peace, and be wild.